All right, so my little bro has graduation pictures tomorrow. I twisted his hair, like, when was that, Aaron? Three weeks ago? Yeah, I think it was three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just taking them out. And we're going to redo them so my guy can look fresh for his photos. So this is Aaron's afro maybe four months ago. And it's actually kind of trimmed down because he was going to a nice event, a school dance. Um, but just for some context, this is what we're working with. And I've only twisted his hair once before. This is a picture of how it turned out. That was about three weeks ago. So now it's just time to redo and touch it up. Wow. Mm -hmm. I forgot how long this is gonna take. I got a different idea. I actually decided instead we're gonna keep his hair in the twist and wash it so that I don't have to do so much like reparting because this took like three hours the first time. So I'm just going in with some uh, Miel Organic Shampoo and found this olive oil replenish conditioner in my parents uh, medicine cabinet and then also just my shampoo massage and brush <laughs> it's freshly washed. I washed it in the twist and most of them, some of them stayed in, but a lot of them came out. Um, my brother has a lot of hand, a lot of hair, a lot of strands. It's really fine. So I'm just going to follow up with some product. Um, this oil I've been using, but the staple to this style is this Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. Works really well on his hair. And I'm just pouring it into a bowl so that I don't have to constantly squeeze because this style takes about two and a half hours. I have a rat tail comb to separate and part his hair. And my trusty clips to move it out of the way. And that's it, we're gonna go ahead and get started.
Well, the key to a successful twist is making sure that your two sections that you're twisting are even. Um, and then also, you know, shorter hair means that you oftentimes have to twist in, sh in smaller sections um, because it's like the width has to be compatible with the length. You know, like if you're doing a really big section on short hair, there's just not a lot of space to really twist. So that's why you see like such a small section. I would never have to do such a small section like that on my hair at its length. But because his hair is shorter, they need to be smaller sections for the twist to actually be a twist. And then I just part the front section down the middle. I feel like a middle part gives a nice masculine look and frames his face really well. And this is the finished look. Um, I definitely recommend sleeping with a do-rag on just to keep all your twists, you know, going down and not going everywhere. So if you try this out, please let me know how it goes. I'm really excited to hear. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.